For the first time in a long time, business at the vendor's arcade in Castries has been buoyant. As the president of the association puts it, it has been a good low season. This is traditionally the period, a slow period for the tourism industry. The president of the association attributes the strong showing to Caribbean nationals here on holiday, particularly the French. The president of the Crafts and Dry Goods Vendors Association is in high spirits. This, he says, is largely due to what he has termed a good low season for vendors. In fact, Peter Rass Iper Isaac says business at the arcade in the last few weeks has been better than what was generated during May's mega event, Senusha Jazz. What Isaac is most surprised about is the source of the cash input, Caribbean tourist. And against that reality, he's calling for focus to be placed on the Caribbean as a source market. I think more emphasis must be given or placed on, 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 on Caribbean tourists because this is where I think we are really, that, that is really making a difference right now because, um, you know, tourists from the, from the foreign, foreign country, the, the French countries and so on, from Trinidad to Tobago and so on, these are the people who are making a difference. I think we should, put, you know, some emphasis, some focus must be put in that area there so that we could attract more of these people because I think what is happening now is that although it is a slow season, but I think it's one of the best slow seasons we have had for in years. And, and this year, I must say that it is the year that we could say we have had a significant difference. The Senusha Tourist Board earlier in this month reported well over 150,000 stayover arrivals for the first half of the year. However, that represented a half a percentage point drop from the same period last year. But the Caribbean market recorded a 1.5% increase from the same period last year. Stayover arrivals numbered 23,995. Growth in that market is attributed to additional airlift, coupled with numerous business meetings and conventions taking place in St. Lucia. Mr. Isaac believes the authorities need to work towards modernizing the tourism vending sector in order to capitalize on the opportunities. People selling coolers and so on, and the whole question of selling, you know, a bear. We're looking at into a bear license, so you could have vendors regulate, you know, regularize them in a sense that they wouldn't be selling these bears illegal. They would be legal having some kind of six month for, or maybe a year license, so that because this is the, the new culture here. You know, you 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 just start a little dance or something. People are wrong with some cooler trying to sell something and to cash in to make some money to send them children to school and so on and so forth. So I think all these things must be taken into consideration. Some one hundred thousand dollars was allocated in the budget for improvements in the sector, Isaac says the time has come to regularize it. 